We find it taken by Landy. Landy's hand pass across to Jip. Jip to Ania. Richmond going forward as Ania gives a long hand pass out to Rollings. The snap from Rollings. There's no mistake about that. First goal on the board. The Tigers go to one straight goal. So the Richmond he goes wide. Will we find Kane all on his own? Merman Kane from the half back flat will put Richmond forward. Puts the kick up towards the half foot. No centre line. Great effort by Brown. It's tapped away. Eventually picked up by Rollings. Rollings back in towards the centre. And Ania tracks the mark. So Ania from the centre of the ground to put the Tigers into attack. Looking down towards the half forward line. Plenty of charges there. And it's Roach in front. Michael Roach. A temperamental forward has been amongst the goals. Roach has been hot and cold. The kick from Michael Roach on the side. and killed a one on seven's big lead. A couple of kicks in that uh, back line early, Walsh. Lee overruns it. He has support through Francis. Francis showing pace, gets away. Danger here for the Saints as uh, Francis puts the ball down towards the half-forward line. He's looking for Roach under plenty of pressure. Well tackled, play on calls Peter Howe. In towards the pocket it goes. Still the Tigers' possession could have been a free kick there. Peter Howe says no. It goes over the line. Skilton says rot. Not happy, Robert. Sandy, what more could that kid do? Well, it's been given. He goes short, and Jess will now have a shot 20 metres out. On the so the opportunity for the Tigers to record their third goal. Jess's kick. Is good. 3 1 to 1 2 on seven. Big lead. Tackled, loses possession. Oh. And Sandy Roberts breaks a pen. So Ania towards the forward area. Punched away. just does pay to be in the front position uh, nobody can complain position and so he has the result of that free kick goes towards goal and makes no mistake Robert bringing up his first goal and the Tigers four goals one 25 leading and that's going to Rollings well your guess is as good as mine Bobby I thought it was Rioli had the ball it's a beautiful kick Taylor gives away the free kick surely no he's been paid the mark well fans down in front of us are going quite berserk they're watching the replay on that wonderful scoreboard we have here at the MCG standing Sammy as Taylor plays on and puts it through much of the hoots of the St Kilda crowd but they were watching me. It would have been against Tomei anyway, but the mark was taken nonetheless by Port Peter Francis. Francis swings play in towards the centre. He's got Egan there. Finds that player. Four points favouring the Tigers. Philip Egan down towards Taylor. A nice lead from Taylor there. Hasn't goal to date, Bobby. The fact, the fact that he pushed his opponent in the back, which you've forgotten, and he ran around and, and goal. kicked the goal. Now, another goal coming on the board. A lovely piece of shepherding by Michael Roach allows Taylor to bring his second goal on the board. So, the Tigers go to 6-2, leading the Saints 4-4 on 7. Taken by Lee. Intercepted by Jenkins. Tried to tap the ball forward. Picked up by Egan. Egan of Richmond now with a left foot kick towards centre wing. Alfonson in the front position. Punched away. Punched oh, away. Back to Jess. And Jess goes for the short pass. Well taken. Good football, Jess and Taylor. A nice lead. A good pass. Not much at all that young Frawley could do there as Jess runs on down to the goal square. Jess and Alfonston. But it's Brian Taylor who will be trying to kick his third goal. And Taylor. Should score from here. Not the best looking kick, but nonetheless, it's through for full points. Doesn't matter what it looks like. It goes through, and Taylor has three straight. Woodline falling down in this quarter. A nice mark for Philip Walsh. In front of Aimor. So Walsh. 
good up by him. Walsh trying to look for the 15 metre penalty, but none forthcoming. A mark missed by Tomei, taken that time by Landy. Landy puts the ball out there. Roach has taken a nice mark. Starting to look for stronger now, Sandy. Yes, Greg Sharp under plenty of pressure on that occasion. Comes in, stooped over the ball, favouring the drop punt as he always does, and he shoots truly towards goal. Another one goes on the board for the Tigers. 8-2 to 4-6 on sevens. Big lead. Occasion. And it will be Stewart, Craig Stewart, coming away as Roach limps off the ground. That's bad news for Richmond. Stewart's kick towards centre half forward and a good mark taken there by Philip Egan. That was a grand game, Bob. I don't think Roach's opponent, Greg Shouts, in temperature um, in the best of health as well, not say either. And Brian Taylor may position well and uh, fully under a lot of pressure down. One to his credit so far. 53 to 31 as Brian Taylor lines up the goals. The kick from Taylor, there's no mistake about that. And half time, Taylor has four goals. Richmond, nine goals, five, 59 with St Kilda on 4 7 31. Still the mark, so it looked, and it was missed as Walsh puts it forward. Still, it would be a free kick to love it, and he was in the front position, no doubt about that one. So love it of Richmond will take the kick. Gets the lead from Taylor. It's Taylor and Frawley. Frawley puts it away from Cowie. Swooping on the ball is Matthew and Palm, I should say. David Palm. An awkward bounce for Jess. It straightens up and Palm runs into the open goal to make no mistake. Well, the interchange player, David Palm, coming on and kicking his first. But Rioli is there. He goes to ground. Umpire calls play on. Rioli ripped off the football. Fabia in trouble. Puts out the sweeping handball to Burns and he'll get the Saints out of trouble with a bad kick. A shocking kick. Straight to Barry Rollins who can run him to goal. Side bottom and gone to sleep, Sandy. There's his kick and his goal. Bad mistake by the Saints. Yeah. Rollins kicks his second. Big Allen side bottom. Gave it. Fabia loses it. Peter Howell allows play to go on. Egan will sneak away with the football. It's smothered off the boot partly. First to it will be Morewood, and he's got time if he can pick it up. Oh, he's in awful trouble. Rioli will pick it up now. And Morris the Wizard. Away from Tomei he goes. Up towards the Taylor. Great mark by BT. Very rarely do we see him, Bobby, flying like that from behind. Very rarely do we see Brian's feet that far off the ground. You can tell BT that. Oh, Brian and I are good friends, Sandy. <laughs> but I it, hope. it was a good mark, wasn't it? It was a great mark. So he'll shoot from 30 metres out directly in front. A chance for the Tigers' 12th. He stabs away with a drop punt and he makes no mistake. Five goals to Brian Taylor and the Tigers show their ascendancy. 12-5 to 5-7. Yes. Gets the lead from Taylor. Puts it out wide. It's Taylor and Frawley. And Taylor takes the one hand. He wants to play on too, down towards Jess, who's in. He'll be keen to get on with the job because Taylor gives him a lead down in the square. Now he's heading for BT, who'll fly again from the side. Quick to recover, but Palm's quicker. He's taken out of it. Push, said the umpire. And I'm afraid Bobby Skilton has lapsed into semi-consciousness. Has not goal to date. Runs round now. And goals. The Tigers are 13-6, leading the Saints of Mary Dance 5-7 on sevens. Big lead. And so Jimmy Jess will be lying up for what will be his second goal. He makes no mistake. And the Richmond go further ahead. Two goals to Jimmy Jess. 14 goals to Richmond. 14, 6, 90 to 5, 6, 7, I should say, 43. On replay, you're watching Seven's big league as Favia comes through. Well tackled by Rioli. He's able to get clear of them. Jimmy Jess picks it up. Puts it up towards the half forward line, but the attack is only temporary. The Richmond defence have been standing strong pretty well. Here's Barry Rollins on centre wing. Looking to go up forward towards Peter Francis, who takes it beautifully, and he'll go back and have a shot. From the square, 
prior to today. Good kick 30. That one's home. So Peter Francis kicks his first and the tie-ups. Once again, Lee wins a mighty thump out of the middle. Palmer sitting streaming forward once again. He gets caught, gives it to Jess, who dummies the handball once. Now gives it back to his teammate in Jeff, who goes short and finds Rioli. Oh, they're starting to look dangerous now. Rioli, not keen to have a shot for goal. Beautiful pass! What a pass! David Palm sneaking down into the square, takes a beautiful mark. But David, you'll have to go... David Palm started on the interchange, second kick. He goals. Saints, you're in strife. Six. Umpire, because it was touched by his teammate, but Peart recovers well. Puts it out towards the half-forward flank and a nice mark taken by Mark Lee. Peart took the mark because side bottom is leaving the ground to be replaced by middle, Miss Bob. And so the short pass comes into Tim Jepp. And the Jepp at centre half-forward. 40 metres out from goal. And it's Tim Jepp. Yet to put a goal on the board personally. Nice looking kick from Jepp. The goal umpire hardly moves and indicates that Tim Jepp has put his first goal on the board and the Tigers go to 17 goals. Picking it up was Philip Walsh, but he does have backup support. It's Philip Egan who receives. He can put the handball out wider towards John Anir and he's going to have to because he lost it. But John Anir steadies, shoots him towards goal. There's another one on the board for the Tigers. They're running right at the MCG. And pass over the top towards Francis. Francis getting away now, showing good speed. Goes for the short pass, and Taylor takes the mark. And Brian Taylor in the middle of it. No, I think Spirits is middle name, Bobby. It's Brian Taylor now. Puts the ball towards goal. Nobody in the goal square in case it had dropped short. And it's through for one point. One goal, I should say, I'm telling you, sorry. Complete command as Anir has a paddock on the outer side. Gets around his opposition in Jeff Moore. Swings play in towards the centre. Lee is there. Jess is in front and he takes them up. You look up towards Taylor. Here they come. BT looking for the free kick. He gets, puts on a great act. It doesn't matter because Wally loves it. And says, thank you. Wally's delighted as he boots his second. Winston Kilda on eight goals, 12, 60. Crow. And Lee. Lee wins the thump. Puts it wide. Cowie completely lost it. Picked up by Jess. Jess puts the long goal in. It's football. A lovely goal, Jimmy Jess. Great football by the Tigers. Magic, says the sign. 21-6 to 8-12. And it started out of the middle with the general, Mark Lee, getting the mighty thump away to the half-forward line. He mightn't be the greatest-looking player in the world, but rarely does he ever let Richmond down. As a loose ball comes out now towards Philip Walsh. Walsh now goes for Taylor. And, oh, good mark by Taylor. Free kick has actually been paid. So mark, free kick, whatever, whatever you like. And although Taylor has kicked six, Danny Frawley, Sandy, has certainly not been disgraced. He has done everything that one could possibly do down there as a Richmond player has gone down behind play. These sort of situations. Well, calls of get off the ground umpire are coming from down in front of us. And now Brian Taylor is getting amongst the antics, and if he's not careful, he'll lose the football too. Well, good play by Danny Frawley. He did gain about five metres out further out from goal. It's still the Jeff Moore. Intercepted, however. And now the Tigers. Are they out of trouble? Mervyn Kane says yes as he gives it to Barry Rollings. Up towards the half-forward line. And a good mark taken by Philip Egan. He's had a pretty good game. Taylor setting himself. Great mark taken by Taylor. And good use of the body. The big fella has kicked six goals and is looking to march up the goal-kicking ladder. So strong. Gets himself into an awful mess sometimes when he gets a bit enthusiastic. BT. 
30 metres out, just stabs away, and he goals, seven goals to Brian Taylor. He raises the fist, 22-7 to 11-13 on... Seven. And replay, we see a lovely mark taken by Philip Egan. Plays on straight away, a left foot kick. Taylor, better judgment. Strawn, showing enormous persistence, is in trouble there, but the big fella does it well as he hooks it over his shoulder. Getting the favourable bounce was Philip Egan. Goes with the left foot up towards centre wing and the mark taken by John O'Neill. He's got the player in jet running. Says, don't worry, I'll do it myself as he puts out the pass to Wisher Welsh. He was held and he'll take the free kick. There's not a doubt about that free kick, Sandy. And, uh, goal on the board. So going for number 23 for the Tigers and he makes no mistake if the Tigers go to 23-7. A 1.45 with St Kilda on 11.13.79. Dean Morewood over the top there of Kane and Kane will take the free kick. Doesn't wait for the kick. Gives the hand pass wide looking for a near. A near tackle gets the hand pass into Wally Lovett. Lovett tackle, breaks that one. Straightens up from half forward. Floats the kick towards goal. Just through for one goal for Wally Lovett. His third and the Tigers go to 20. 152 with St Kilda on 12 16 88.